What's going on guys, it's no Slack Novak, and we're back with episode 10 now of Sim Airport. Yes, we are into double digits, and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, you guys are loving the series, I'm loving playing it, and the constant updates that these guys are making makes the game more and more playable each and every time that I load it up. Now, I want to talk about something. Um, you guys have been amazing with subscribing to the channel. I mean, I, I've mentioned this a few times, but... A week ago, I had something like 250 subscribers. Now I'm I, I'm going to get to 3,000 today, which is unbelievable to me. I'm thinking if we continue at the current pace, even if it slows down a little bit, uh, we'll get to 5,000 in the next two weeks. What I want to do is I'm going to give uh, do a giveaway. Uh, I'm thinking it'll probably be a copy of Sim Airport. Um, if the winner, whoever that may be, if they don't want Sim Airport, if they want another one of the games that I've been playing, I'll be more than happy to oblige. But I think I'll be giving away a free copy of a game uh, to somebody. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do if you just, you know, you have to like a video and subscribe or whatever. I haven't figured that out. I just want to let you guys know at 5,000 subs, I will be doing some sort of giveaway, just, you know, a little token of appreciation, a little bit, uh, something I can do to say thank you to you guys that have been supporting me. Moving on. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to put up the poll results from a couple of episodes ago. Uh, I asked you guys, would you rather have one 40-minute video every day or two 20-minute videos every day? And in the comment section, it was pretty split. I would say that the, uh, the two 20-minute videos had maybe a slight edge in the comment section. However, in this poll, as you can see, 767 votes, which is fitting, considering the game we're playing. 40-minute um, videos ran away with it. Out of the 767 votes, 549 of them, which is 71%, were for one 40-minute video. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue to do the one 40-minute video. It will help a little bit with uh, editing time anyway. there. I mean, I don't do too much editing, but... It'll still help out a little bit, so just, you know, giving you guys a heads up. That is what is happening with that. Now, one of the most frequent comments from last episode was another mess up of mine. And you gotta keep in mind, I'm not in the, uh, you know, the airport business, the, in the, uh, the flight business. I have very little knowledge of how an airport runs or how it works. However, you guys apparently do. A lot of you guys are in the field, and you guys pointed out that I absolutely messed up with the the Pappy lights. Uh, only two are required, and I put down five. And not only did I put down more than double of what are required, I put them down the absolute wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demolish these. And I can't put down the two because you guys were pointing out to me, and I did look up some pictures. I googled it. Uh, some of you guys put in links into the comments. I looked at those links. They're supposed to be, instead of going uh, evenly with the, the parallel to the runway, they're supposed to be going up and down, north and south. And I can't put down two because this area of the map over here is off limits. So they're supposed to really be like one over here and one over here. I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the two. No, I'm just going to do the one. Pardon me. I'm going to destroy this one over here as well. And once those get destroyed, I'm just going to place the one right here that'll be somewhat realistic. And I hope you guys can look past the fact that I can't put one over there. And I really don't want to move the runway. That would be, as you guys can imagine, a lot of work, a pain in the butt, I'd lose a lot of money, etc., etc. Now, number two thing that you guys were commenting on was the garbage situation that we've got going on. Uh, some of you guys want me to do research, do the, the roads and all that stuff, and I will get to that, I promise, I'll get to that. However, it looks to me like when uh, the janitor here takes out the garbage, he starts putting them here, 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 you know what I'm saying? Kind of in order, tile by tile. So these uh, dumpsters over here don't really get used uh, as much as they should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy these, and you guys will see what I do. Uh, let me speed up time a little bit. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to watch them do the uh, the Pappy light removal. So those are all gone. And what I can do, let's slow down time again. Uh, now I can dump these. I won't need them. At least not um, at least not those four. 
and let's go ahead and rebuild this one over here so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to upgrade runway pappy and they're supposed to be facing let's see that's the wires right so that means that the lights are in front so we're gonna have them facing this way right here let's go ahead and put them uh, let's put them right here right there that's a good spot for them that'll uh, you know incoming flights will be able to see the lights and all that good stuff there so hopefully you guys will uh, you know stop screaming at me in the comments over that mistake and then let's go down here and then let's fix the uh, the garbage situation so we're gonna go to dumpsters and I'm gonna put them down again but this time I'm gonna put the dumpster down over here like so because that means when the guy comes and he's putting the garbage down he's actually gonna put them into the dumpsters first there we go and look at that they already have the two in there that were uh, under them and the tiles under them so that's good these janitors are over here uh, do you guys have nothing to clean right now restrooms are spotless this restroom spotless all right nice nice our airport is nice and clean now somebody else was asking too in the schedule uh, you guys will notice here from midnight uh, through 3 a.m. there are no flights it will not let me move these morning flights over I'm curious though I'm curious if it'll let me move the nighttime flights so I'm gonna do this very last one I'm gonna try to move it it won't see it won't let me move it this way nope hmm can I go this way nope see okay so apparently from midnight to 3 a.m. we're just not allowed to have any flights scheduled which is fine um, you know that's the red-eye time at the airports not as many passengers, not as many flights, I understand that. But maybe, maybe that's something that they can address uh, next time. So, this episode, a couple of things that I want to do. And I am going to get to the cafe. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work, I can always deconstruct it. And uh, hopefully it won't cost us too much money. As you guys can see though, we're at 100 negative 10. So we can go into the negatives without any kind of punishment. What I want to do is I want to extend the ticketing area a little bit more I think I want to bring it down here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that let us do let's see here ticketing I know I'm missing it here we go BAM what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend it down I wanna say it about right here and then what I'm also gonna do uh, I'm gonna go find some of these vending machines and you know what these electronics vending machines still don't work as far as I know However, uh, let's go ahead and put some vending machines down over here. You guys were saying that when these guys leave, they might want to get some uh, some goodies over here from the vending machine before they go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. The drink machine will only go into the kitchen, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. We'll do an electronics vending machine. Uh, let's see, should we do it right in the middle? Okay, let's do it right in the middle. Then let's go ahead and give them a garbage bin all, uh, as well. We'll do one there, one there. And then let's do like a decorative plant or something. I don't really think we should put anything else down there. Nothing that would make as much sense as a little bit of decoration. We've got the electronics vending machine. Maybe an ATM, but we have the ATM up there. Let's just go ahead and do the, uh, the decor. Uh, oh, that's huge. That's huge. Indoors, 500. That's that's freaking giant, man. No, I'm not going to do that. And we're not... Uh, I don't think we're 100% even over here either. Which is going to kind of bug me. Right, we have one, two... Is that like t t one, one tile or two tiles? I kind of thought we were even over here. Hmm. That might bug me a little too much. And I wanna, might want to change that. Let's see. So I'm going to go to... Let's do this one. Let's do something like I can't rotate that. That's kind of crazy. See, so yeah, and it is off. It's not even right there. Uh, that's gonna bug me a little bit. And but people are using it. You know what? That looks close enough. I'm not gonna compound it. I'm not gonna make it worse by putting this down because then it'll be more noticeable. We're just gonna leave that alone. You guys didn't see anything. All right. Let's do maybe some decorations over here along this wall. Make it nice and pretty over there. Maybe do one over here by this vending machine. 
Uh, we could kind of line this wall a little bit more, but I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and put one of these over here. Just trying to make it nice and pretty, you know? Alright, so one of the reasons we're extending ticketing is I want to relocate these bad boys, and I want to put them down here. And we're going to put a lot more of them down. So let's do, let's destroy, destroy, and destroy. And then we might have to move these, which, you know what, I think I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and destroy that, destroy that. Um, I'm going to leave this for now, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to move it, so let's go ahead and destroy that. So that's something that they're doing right now. Let's go ahead and put down those uh, kiosks first, just because we need them for the, uh, the incoming passengers that are coming in right now. What I think I want to do is maybe do something like... Let's see, we'll do the ATM over here, right? Something like that. ATM over here, and then we could do one, two, three. So then if we have the third one here, that's one, two, that'll be the ATM there, and then we could do one, two. Ah, uh, hmm. Let's start over here. Let's do a kiosk there. Kiosk there. Do a kiosk over here as well. Bam, let's do something like this. Uh, but I kind of want to extend ticketing, do I? Hmm. Didn't think this through 100%. Let's see, let's just do the one more kiosk right there. We don't, I don't feel like we really need the ATM. What I do, you know what, maybe we should move this and just put in another ticketing desk the baggage right people have a lot of baggage if we did another ticketing desk would we do another first class or would we just do Would we combine these make these all the coach and then just do another first class over here you know what let's let's just stick to the way that it is right now we can always change that up a little bit more let's do some of the uh, the information that we just got rid of the flight info and what we can do is we can do, I uh, want to say, let's do one over here, like this, for these passengers coming in. And then we could do, maybe, could, should we do one over here? Yeah, you know what, let's do that. Like, right, right as they come in, they're going to have the info screen right there. I like that. And I don't think it'll interfere too much with these people using these electronic kiosks. And we got rid of the ATM. We can put an ATM somewhere else. That shouldn't be an issue. What we can do is let's actually put the ATM. And again, I don't think they're really using it right now. Where, oh, where are you? There we go, ATM. I really don't think these guys are using it. But we can put one over here in the corner over here. Over here in the corner over here. Let's go ahead. Do we have an ATM past security? Doesn't look like it. Let's give them an ATM right by the vending machines. Vending machines, you know, some of them use credit cards, some of them don't. Let's assume these don't and they could pull out cash from the ATM. Although I guess that would only allow them like $20 increments, right? And you can't really put a $20 bill into the ATM. So, whatever. Alright, I think it might be time to start working on that cafe. Security wise, I think we're fine. I don't, you know what, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just go ahead and extend it. Give them one more of each. We're going to need the uh, ID check stand. We'll do another one over here. And let's go ahead and do the metal detector. Hey, like so. So we're going to be good over there. I'm thinking maybe we'll hire a few security. I wonder if hiring the security will up our airline interest uh, as of right now it says we should be making about hundred and nineteen thousand dollars a day which you know I don't think is happening and then you know what also you guys are saying let's bump up the pricing so I've got the uh, the thousand bucks over here let's you know what, let's make it 15 and then over here let's bump that up to like f let's bump it up to 50 so that's that should help us make a lot more money let's look now two hundred thousand estimated uh, revenue every single day let's speed up time these guys are knocking that out. We're going to have to sign that queue over here. Assign to this queue any passengers. And we could make it, I guess, first class only. We're going to have to hire security to man that station, right? Uh, we could do... 
like a first class only queue let's go ahead and do that uh, so we're gonna go into queue expand we're gonna do one right like like so bam and then we're gonna make this let's see assign to this queue unassign here and then this queue is gonna be for first class only that's kind of funky look at that like a hmm an indi okay it was like an indi uh, indivisible invisible person that was kind of interesting all right so they are assigned to the first class line over there that's good first class passengers only have their own little um, ID check stand no problem can't do anything with that can't assign these or anything I think it's time let's start working on that cafe um, we're still in the negatives but you know what let's just forget about that let's let money is not an issue right now rich uncle Pennywise is that the guy from Monopoly Pennywise uh, he gave us a ton of money and we can do whatever we want with it and what we want to do with it is we want to make a cafe now I did see some pictures on Twitter of uh, people doing some kind of interesting cafes I, I'm not saying that they worked they were just pictures you know they looked they looked pretty but I'm not saying they were efficient I'm not saying that they worked so I'm thinking what should we do here as far as a cafe first and foremost obviously we have to expand the foundation let's do something like let's do something like that and then maybe even something we can't do that let's do something like this just make it kind of interesting and then we can always expand further down that's not going to be an issue now a lot of you guys were saying too that there was like a foundation issue over here somewhere uh, I think you guys were standing by the vending machines there's like a foundation issue maybe it was over here by the doors when I was trying to get rid of the doors earlier and putting them over here this over here maybe I don't know uh, I don't see an issue so I'm just gonna leave it alone um, yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with it so while those guys are doing all that um, construction over there let's see how this is working ticketing is working just fine planes are leaving just fine ticketing is working beautifully security is working more efficiently than ever before thanks to that fourth person and the first class passenger line which doesn't really seem like they're really using too much maybe that's just because and you know what here look all these people are leaving that plane not a single one of them is going to a vending machine so uh, you know like like I thought uh, the departing passenger or the passengers that are arriving at our airport I don't think really are interested in using the vending machines it's mostly for uh, the people that are leaving our airport well that's kind of cool this lady over here had a little laptop she pulled out security it looks like security's getting swamped a little bit but they're handling it no problem whatsoever good 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 all right our seating area is not even close to being full which is nice these guys over here filling up that queue we're gonna have 181 people in on this uh, 767 which like I said is the amount of votes that we got for that poll for the uh, 20 minute 40 minute video poll that I did now let's see here we have 75 minutes I think we're gonna get everybody no problem the queue could be a little bit bigger but it's big enough to where the majority of people get through and then uh, the people that are kinda queued up over here hovering around they they have a chance to kinda filter through still have 20 20 minutes come on guys I don't want this plane to be late I think we're gonna make it five minutes to go there it is 181 people and we left on time that was absolutely beautiful uh, a lot of you guys wanted me to get rid of those benches last episode and I did and I agree with you guys that was not a mistake just it wasn't working all right so we're gonna start boarding here in 15 minutes Let's make sure that this one gets uh, through on time as well. 25 minutes to board 43 people. Uh, and we're going to do that with uh, with time to spare. Five minutes to go. Uh-oh, maybe not. Maybe I lied to you guys. Um, there we go. Two people, I think, just got on, right? 42 out of 43. One person didn't make it. Who didn't make it? Uh, okay, well, there it is. Well, why the hell didn't you make it? You were in the area. This guy right here, he looks lost. Ah, uh, let's see. Bladder, life cycle, departure, hunger. Looks like he's really hungry. Well, I mean, you should have made the flight. They have peanuts on the flight. 
All right. Let's go ahead. So this is done over here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's demolish the uh, the wall over here. Don't need that. We're going to put down flooring. But first and foremost, I think I want to see how are we going to do this. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do this as the kitchen area over here. And then this could be our actual uh, cafe right here. And then this could kind of be like the queue area for the cafe. I think that's what I want to do. Now let's see, what all do we need in the kitchen? Actually, you know what, first and foremost, let's put down the flooring, right? So let's do build. What kind of flooring should we put in the kitchen? I'm thinking we should probably, it's definitely not going to be carpeted in the kitchen. Food's going to fall on the floor, we don't want to stain the carpet, all that stuff. I'm thinking we're just going to do basic, like this looks like basic kind of kitchen uh, tile over here. So let's do something like this. And then I think we're going to use... That's carpet over here. Uh, let's see, this over here is uh, that's nice. Um, I think that's I don't think that's carpet either. That's this this fancy tile over here. I'm thinking what we don't want do we want to use the same tiles that we have in the restrooms on our cafe? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna use the plain floor number one over here. Make that like so, and then let's give ourselves kind of a uh, we can't do that because we have the pending construction. So let's go ahead and speed up time. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to put the wall over here, right? So that uh, typical passengers can't go through. And we're going to have a little door over here. There we go. Knock that stuff out. Beautiful, beautiful. And I did hire those extra construction workers just so we could get these jobs done a little bit faster. One more little tile there, guys. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and do the wall. We're going to do something like so. Let's do something like that. Put down the uh, the door. Kind of wish they would have like employee only doors or something, but they don't. So, you know, nothing we can really do about that. Now, let's start planning out our let's start planning out our little uh, cafe over here. So, table over there. Table over there. Let's see. Um, before I was doing four chairs on each table, I think that was a little excessive. So let's try to do let's try to do just two. Should we do up and down or left and right? I'm thinking let's do up and down. So we'll do something like that. Bam. Right, two uh, two chairs per table. Then we could do here and here. Swing. There we go. And then are we going to be able to fit another one? I think we will. I think that'll actually fit beautifully. Just like so. Bam. I think we're good. I really don't want to do the extra chairs. Because I think that's going to cause uh, cause more problems than it's going to um, fix. Now let's see. Cash register. Let's go ahead. And we're going to put a cash register. I think somewhere like right here. And another one over here. And then, should we do the queues for them? Or should we just let people kind of come up and do whatever they want to do? For now, let's not assign a, a queue. We'll see how that works. Uh, but we do have to do stuff in the kitchen here. So let's do, we're going to do a drink machine. I think this is a good spot for the, uh, you know what, let's do the drink machine. You know what, I kind of, we're going to do the drink machine right here. Then we're going to need the, let's see, kitchen sink. We're going to clearly need a kitchen sink. We'll do that right there. Oh, let's do it over here in the corner. We have to have the pizza oven. That is now a requirement. They just changed that in one of the updates. So we're going to do, uh, I think we're going to do like two pizza ovens. And we can always add more stuff. We're going to do a few of these prep cards. Which, again, I'm not sure. I don't think it really matters which way they're facing. Let's do the prep cart like here, here, and here. Uh, we're going to need a few refrigerators. That is facing the correct way. So let's go ahead and put the refrigerators over here by the, uh, the pop machine, the soda machine. And then this is where the issue was last time. Somebody was saying that it is a requirement to have this kitchen storage over here although it does not say it just says adds crisps and donuts to kitchen capabilities 
doesn't say anything about it being a requirement. However, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to trust you guys, or whoever it was that said that, and I'm going to put down a couple of them, and hopefully uh, you guys weren't messing with me. Now we do have, let's see here, do we need anything else? Let's go ahead and zone it and see if there's anything else that's required. So kitchen area over here, and then this is going to be cafe area over here, like so. Speed up time, let's watch them construct this stuff. Now what does this say? It says we need a kitchen sink. Uh, well, we have that scheduled. Oh yeah, that's right, we need cookers. Cookers, we have prep carts, we have refrigerators, we have pizza oven, and all we need is the cookers. Alright, let's find those. Here we go. And let's rotate that bad boy, and let's put... Uh, let's see, where do we want to put that? I think we're going to have to put it over here, right? Let's put it next to the, the pizza ovens. So we've got our little hot area over here with the pizza ovens and the cookers. We've got our food storage over here. We've got a cleaning area over here with the sink. Our prep stuff is in the middle. And then we have our cold section with the refrigerator and the vending machine right there. Let's go ahead and put one more down, just because I think we can. Right there. And we're going to need food workers, clearly. Let's go ahead and hire... Let's go ahead and hire a few. Uh, here we go, food worker. So we're going to have one manning that, one manning that. And I think we're going to have another, let's just say two, kind of helping out with the, the registers and getting the food done and all that stuff. Now what are we missing over here? Um, must be assigned to a kitchen zone. And must be able to serve food. So let's assign it to this kitchen zone right here. This one will also be assigned to the kitchen. And I think we should be good. People should be coming in here soon. It is uh, 2 in the morning. Damn near close to 2. And I'm surprised. We're only at a negative 126. With all that construction and all these things that we just built, we're only at negative 126. Which means that our flights are making us quite a bit of money. Which is nice. I do want to kind of pay attention a little bit to this garbage area. 5 out of 10, 10 out of 10, and then we have some extra stuff over here. Maybe the garbage guy just isn't coming. I do not know. Now let's see, here we go. Kitchen area should be working, cafe should be working, all that good stuff. Alright, looks like that person's uh, prepping stuff, putting it into the pizza oven. Are they delivering it? There it is. It's coming. It's coming. There we go. Look at that. That looks delicious. Pepperoni pizza. They scarfed that down pretty quick, too. What are you doing? Are you just kind of like hanging out? All right. There you go. All right. Let's see if these guys miss their flights. I'm not even going to look at the flights. I'm just going to... No staff? All right. Let's hire another one. People complaining about nobody serving them? I don't want that. Bad reputation right there. So we've got two times speed going on. Now let's see. It looks like people are kind of... Uh, not maybe getting stuck. They're just not getting served. See, look. These guys, here we go. So I'm going to speed up time. This guy's doing whatever he wants to do. Just kind of running around. These guys aren't prepping anything. Pizza oven cooker. 99 out of 99. 98 out of uh, 10 Coke, 99 out of 100 Pepsi. It's pretty much the same thing over here. Hmm. Yeah, so it looks like it's broken. You know what, let's try... We're going to do the queues just to see if maybe that's an issue. Uh, let's do something like this. And then we'll do another queue over here. Uh, do something like that. I'm going to try to assign. Assign you over there. We'll assign you over here. All passengers, no problem. Get in the queue. Get served. And they're not going anywhere. Tables are full. That's probably why. But now these guys can't leave because they're not getting served their food. And they're starting to miss their flights. So as I thought, kitchen is still broken. What are, are we missing anything? 
I mean, look, we have nine. We have ninety-nine out of a hundred there. Ninety-nine out of a hundred there. Uh, pizza ovens, you know, not a problem. Not we don't. We're not getting any kind of like warning or anything like that. Uh, kitchen storage full, full. Kitchen sink, I don't think is an issue because they're not using it whatsoever. Maybe these these prep carts, I don't think are the problem. They're just kind of stuck for some reason. Um, these guys are at the registers, willing to take orders. What I think I'm gonna do, um, you know what, if you guys know what the issue is, leave a comment in the comment section. What I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna take off this cafe area over here. It is no longer a cafe area. Get out. All of you, go home. And you know what, this over here, register, destroy. I don't even want people waiting at it. Uh, we can, you know what, let's dezone this too. Doesn't make sense to have that zoned. Uh, it might attract, try to attract some people. Let's tell these people to go home. See, that's frustrating. I'm not sure why the cafe is not working yet. Send home. So, you know what? I'm going to give you guys a chance to catch your flights before I send you home. I'm sure most of these guys belong on this flight over here, which is boarding right now. So, see, 120 people are supposed to be on this flight. And I can guarantee you we're going to miss a lot. A lot of these people are not going to make it on that flight. Look at that, we missed something like, it was 78 out of 120. So that's that's 42 people that missed their damn flight. It's these guys over here. Alright, go home. Send home, send home, send home. All of you guys, just get out. I don't even want to look at you. I'm going to try to send this or link this video to the developers on that subreddit page that I frequent and hopefully they'll take a look at it they'll see what the issue is and they'll go ahead and fix it alright come on that's a lot of people a lot of people got stuck right there and let's go ahead we're gonna fire these guys too sorry guys just don't need you he doesn't want to quit he doesn't want to get fired Send home, send home, send home, send home. Come on, guys, get out. This is fun, right? Watching me click and fire or send home all these people. And, I mean, clearly it's an issue. We didn't have enough chairs, which that's understandable. That's why a lot of those guys were waiting in line. But, um, and you know what? But why weren't these guys... The question is, why weren't these guys serving the people at the uh, the tables you know because that's that's the issue if these guys would just serve the food then we wouldn't have this issue people would have ate gotten up and they would have been replaced with the people in the queue and it really wouldn't have been that big of a deal maybe a few people would have missed their flights but not 42 people like like that last flight um, cafe table no nope. send home and more and more people are coming to sit down. That just shows you how many people were in that queue. Since 42 people missed the flight, there was at least 42 people, at least 42 people in our queue and in the, uh, the cafe. Alright, come on guys. Just, you guys just keep populating the cafe. That's crazy. Get out, get out, get out. I'm sorry guys, I know this isn't interesting, I'll probably cut a lot of this out. Man, they just keep coming. You know what, I'm sure a lot of those guys are actually just waiting, they're just sitting there, just relaxing. So, uh, let's go ahead, you know what, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that. I think we should send these guys home though. These guys are waiting in line. Let's try to move this over a little bit. Bam, send home. Bam, send home. There we go. So these guys over here I think are just kind of relaxing. Hmm. He doesn't want to get fired. He doesn't want to get fired. He doesn't want to get fired. 
Alright, are these guys gonna miss their flights now? Mm, are you guys gonna go on your flight? I don't think they will. So that one's full. 43 out of 43 boarded. Hmm. So were they, I can guess, it. okay, so they weren't on that one, huh? I want to pay attention to these guys over here. Are you guys going to get on this flight? 161 people. Pretty big. Looks like most of them are already in the queue. Uh, 158 out of 161 standing in the queue. And 75 minutes left to board. It's getting knocked out. I just want to see if those guys sitting in the old cafe belong on one of these flights. Let's see here. So 161 out of 161. Good. So are they on this one? I don't think so. Because look at that. There's a lot of people already there. So are those passengers from like an older flight? Did they just not go R and leave? A little bit late, but 103 out of 103. So these guys are just kind of chilling. Uh, we'll let them sit there because I'm tired of sending everybody home. So, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Like I said, cafes are clearly still bugged. But if I, if I did something wrong, let me know in the comment section. I don't think I did. I th we have everything. We had everything that was required to have in the cafe. We had the cookers, we had the uh, prep carts, we had the pizza ovens, the refrigerators, the soda machine, that's not even required. Uh, the sinks, we, we have everything that we need. Plenty of room for everything, nothing is blocked, nothing is inaccessible, everything is perfectly fine. We have seating areas, we had the registers, we even put the queues down later. I mean, we are good. It was just clearly that these guys did not want to prep the food anymore, which... I'm not quite sure why. Like I said, I'm going to submit this video. I'm going to send the developer a link uh, to the exact time when we finished the kitchen and the cafe and we put it into work. And hopefully they'll be able to, you know, address what the problem is and fix that in one of these upcoming patches. They've been really good with that stuff. Very impressive. But yeah, I mean, overall our airport is doing fantastic. Look at that. We're at negative uh, $13,000, which... So we've pretty much made over a hundred thousand dollars this episode just because we've also, you know, we've done a lot of construction. We added this whole foundation area over here that costs a lot of money. We put all those items down. We are good. And look at that. Our garbage area, I think, is working beautifully, too. Three out of ten, nine out of ten. See, look at that. The, the janitors, let's go ahead and slow down time a little bit once they start coming into the area. Or right, where are you, janitor? Come on. There we go. Oh, wait. So they put that over there. Why? And this guy, what's this guy doing? Passenger stuck? Send home. Go home, buddy. Hmm, this guy's stuck over here, too. Alright. Well, they did put uh, stuff 4 out of 10 here, 10 out of 10 here. Not sure why this one didn't go over here, but hey, much better than we were at the end of last episode, right? Again, we have one lonely little bag circling around. Ticketing area I think worked very well. Security also worked very well. We have a few people stuck over here. Um, that's unfortunate. Let's see if can we send these guys home. This person can go home and this person can go home. Good. All right. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. That's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look, we're in the positives. Eight thousand dollars. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys on another one of my videos. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.